Hello students and welcome to the math class. Myself P.H. Shah, lecturer in mathematics. In today's session, we will discuss about introduction to logarithm and some basic examples. We start with the understanding of exponent or power function. Uh, you know that whenever it is given 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 4 times, it means we may write 2 raised to 4 in place of that expression. Uh, this is the short expression which is known as power function or exponent function. Here 2 is base of the function and 4 is power of the function. Logarithm is a inverse function of the exponent function. Um, in general, it is represented as log x to the base a. This is the way how re we represent the log function and remember that here a is base and x is simply a number. So if you see uh, in exponent function we have base and power while in log function we have base and number. It is read as log x to the base a. Right? Whenever we have to read this, we will say log x to the base a. Remember that base is denoted slightly lower side of the log function. You can see that x is represented parallel to log while the base a is represented slightly downside. Okay, so let's have some exercise to identify what is base and what is number in log function. So here you can see three columns, function, base and number. So in first column, I will write down the function and in second and third column, we will identify what is the base in that log function and what is the number in that log function respectively. So see the first example log 5 base 3. So here 3 is base and 5 is number. We are just identifying what is base and what is number. Uh, this practice is necessary to understand the concepts that we are going to see. Log 2 base 10. Here 10 is base and 2 is number. Log 4 base e. Here e is base and 4 is number. Log 10. E is base and 10 is number. Now here you might be surprised that nothing is indicated downside or at the place of base. Then why I have taken base as E? Then remember friends, whenever base is not given, it is by default taken as E. So let's have some notes uh, that will be useful for this chapter. So first one is when base is not given in logarithm function, like in example 4 here, base is not mentioned, then it is by default E. Second one, when base is E, it is called the natural logarithm function. When base is 10, it is called common logarithm function. Uh, and uh, base of log function can be any positive real number except 1. Remember that base cannot be negative number, base cannot be 0, base cannot be 1. It means that it can be any positive number except 1. Yes, now this is one of the important thing that you need to know how to convert from log function to index function or power function. We will uh, see through the example. Uh, look at the first example. Here it is given that log x base a is equal to y and we want to convert this into power function or exponent function. As I said before, uh, exponent function is having some base and rest to some power. So, when log function is given and you want to convert it into exponent function, remember that base will remain as it is. Here you can see that base of log function is a. 
so when you are converting into power function base will remain same c a and other two will interchange base was a in log function so it is same in power function and y takes the place of x and x takes the place of y so they changes they interchanges their positions let's see another example log s base b is equal to t this is given and we want to convert this into power function same process will be applied here base of log function is b so when we are converting into power function base will be the same b and other two will interchange their positions simple let's take the another one now think what will happen when we convert into power function yes you are right it will be m raised to n is equal to r so one of the basic example related to this concept remember uh, when we are dealing with this chapter forget about log tables nowhere we are going to use log tables to solve the examples of logarithm then there may be a question in your mind that how to solve the questions we will use rules related to logarithm to solve questions of this chapter so right now we learnt about how to convert from log function to index function remember that you can apply the concept only when value of logarithm is given it means log x base a is equal to something it is given to us so we can convert into index function uh, let's see this example how to solve it is given that log 81 base m is equal to 4 we have to find out value of m and for that we need to remove log function however so let's try to convert this into index function then what do we get m raised to 4 is equal to 81 now once the log function is removed it is very easy to see how to get value of m so we have to find out that whose fourth power is 81 we know that 3 raised to 4 is equal to 81 so we can write down m raised to 4 is equal to 3 raised to 4 and hence m is equal to 3 let's have more practice for such type of examples now you may solve this example at your own you may pause the video find out value of p and then resume to check your answer whether it is correct or not so pause the video solve the example and then resume okay so let's see the process you may check your answer here it is given to us we convert into index function so we get p square is equal to 100 and we know that 100 is 10 square so p is equal to 10 it's very simple let's see another example slightly i will increase the level of difficulty uh, if log 0.001 base b is equal to minus 3 then find value of b same procedure will apply in this case too so converting into index function we get b raised to minus 3 is equal to 0.001 now we have to find out a number whose minus 3 power is 0.001 it's not difficult at all uh, especially for this chapter generally whenever point something something is given remove the point you will get your answer so to remove point we know that we need to divide by 1000 because after decimal point there are three digits so this can be written as 1 upon 1000 and 1000 is equal to 10 raised to 3 so finally we have 1 upon 1 uh, 1 upon 10 raised to 3 and that is equal to 10 raised to minus 3 because when we take the number together with its power into numerator power changes the sign so we get b equal to 10 let's have the last question of this type 
log b base root 2 is equal to 6 then find b convert into power function so we get root 2 raised to 6 is equal to b now root 2 raised to 6 it means root 2 into root 2 total 6 times we know that root 2 into root 2 is equal to 2 so when we take multiplication 6 times it will be 2 into 2 into 2 3 times and which is equal to 8 so these are the examples related to conversion of log function into index function now we will see the rules which will be useful throughout the chapter to solve the examples of logarithm first rule is log 1 base a is equal to 0 remember that whenever number is 1 irrespective of value of base answer is always 0 it means that base can have any value but if the number is 1 then log has always answer 0 I can say log 1 base e is equal to 0 I can say log 1 base 10 is equal to 0 log 1 base 100 is equal to 0 log 1 base 1000 is equal to 0 like this second rule again important rule log a base a is equal to 1 here you can see that both are equal number and base both are equal then value of logarithm is always 1 whenever number and base both are equal value of logarithm function is 1 this rule will be most useful to solve maximum examples in this chapter because this is useful to remove the log function from our example log uh, here you may observe one thing in left hand side that number is x base is a and here one more thing is present k which is power of the number right log x we can read it as log x raised to k base a so whenever such type of uh, number occurs with power then power can be taken into multiplication with log function it means k can be taken here front side as multiplication k we can write down it as k into log x base a so whenever number has some power we can transfer it to the front side as multiplication with log function now you might have question that what if base has some power then what to do so whenever base has some power it is also transferred as multiplication but here we have to consider reciprocal of the power so you can see that this is given log x base a raised to k k is power of base number so when we are taking it into multiplication with log function we have to consider its reciprocal so here k is given so we are taking 1 upon k as multipli multiplication of logarithm function with uh, reciprocal you are familiar if not then let me uh, clarify this uh, if I take 2 by 3 then its reciprocal will be 3 by 2 if I take 5 by 7 its reciprocal will be 7 by 5 if I take 9 its reciprocal will be 1 upon 9 like this this is the next rule a raised to log x base a is equal to x means this is index function a raised to something this is log function log x both are having base a in such case index function log function together with their basis are removed and answer will be the number itself x number 6 log x into y base a is equal to log x base a plus log y base a it means when multiplication of two numbers is given inside a log function and if you want to separate them then you may separate them but between 
the separation there will be plus sign so multiplication is converted into addition when you are separating log function base will remain same original base was a and when you are separating base is a in both functions reverse is also correct whenever addition of two log function is given you want a single log function then the numbers will be multiplied together next rule is regarding division whenever division of two number is given inside a logarithm function you may separate them with minus so we can say log x upon y base a is equal to log x base a minus log y base a and last one is change of base formula whenever you need to change the base in logarithm function then uh, okay here uh, you can see that on left hand side base is y but someone says that i i have some requirement of new base i don't need y as the base i need to use a as a base then what will happen number and base both will be separated in numerator and denominator so log x divided by log y and both will have the new base which is required if you need a as base you may write down a if you need b as base you may write down b whatever the base requirement is there you may take it as a new base so these are the rules related to logarithm function if you uh, remember all this rule then you may solve all the questions related to this chapter let's discuss some questions now okay before i start this uh i want to again focus you on the uh, first and second rule uh, that we are going to use uh, in fact 1 2 3 and 4 these rules we are going to use for uh, this particular video so whenever log 1 is given answer is always zero to remove log function we have to make number and base both equal then we can write down it is equal to 1 if number has some power then it will be transferred as it is front side if base has some power then its reciprocal will be transferred front side now look at the first example log 16 base 4 we have to find out its value now see as we are not going to use log table anywhere we have to remove log function somehow and for that rule number 2 will be useful in most of the cases so our try will be to make number and base both of them equal and for that we will consider the larger number of them here in this case it is 16 and we will write down it as power of smaller number so 16 we have to write down as some power of 4 4 raised to what is equal to 16 then obviously it is 4 square so in place of 16 i am writing 4 square so that i can make base and number both of them equal ha ah, still we have to do uh, some process with this 2 for that we'll use rule number 3 that we have seen earlier this is power of number so it will go to the front side as it is it means 2 into log 4 base 4 because whenever number has some power it is transferred as multiplication front side now here you can see that number and base both are equal so value of this logarithm will be 1 so 2 as it is into this logarithm will have value 1 and hence our final answer is 2 it is quite simple let's see another example now you tell what to do in this case yes you are right 81 should be converted as some power of 3 and you uh, calculate the powers of 3 then you will find out that 3 raised to 4 is equal to 81 so here we left with log 3 raised to 4 base 
4 is power of number so it will be transferred front side as it is so we get 4 into log 3 base 3 and this is equal to 1 because both number and base are equal so final answer is 4 ok let's see next example find out value of log 5 base 25 so here we must convert 25 because it is larger number in terms of some power of 5 then we know that 25 is equal to 5 square huh, but here look we have power of base so when we are taking it into the multiplication its reciprocal will go since here power is 2 reciprocal of 2 is 1 by 2 so we will have 1 by 2 into log 5 base 5 is it clear we are using rule number 4 be very careful whenever number has some power it will be transferred as it is and whenever base has some power its reciprocal will go right so here we are taking reciprocal and now you know very well that log 5 base 5 is equal to 1 so 1 by 2 into 1 is equal to 1 by 2 let's see one more example next find value of log 2 base 16 so here 16 can be written as 2 raised to 4 this is power of base so we will take its reciprocal front side so it is 1 by 4 into log 2 base 2 log 2 base 2 is equal to 1 so our final answer is 1 by 4 into 1 is equal to 1 by 4 let's see next example find the value of log 125 base 25 okay now here larger number is 125 but if you take powers of 25 then uh, uh, let's see 25 raised to 1 is 25 25 square is 625 so 125 will not come as or it cannot be represented as some power of 25 then what to do in this case yes we will convert both of them 125 and 25 as power of some common number then the answer is 5 because both can be written as some power of 5 so 125 we will write down 5 raised to 3 25 we will write down 5 square because finally we have to make both of them equal number and base if they are equal then we can write down log a base a is equal to 1 that's why we are doing this process to remove the log function okay here 3 is power of number so it will be transferred as it is 2 is power of base so its reciprocal will go up uh, front side so you can see that both process are done simultaneously here 3 is shifted as it is and 2 is power of base so its reciprocal is shifted 1 by 2 so we have 1 by 2 into 3 into log 5 base 5 now log 5 base 5 is equal to 1 so 1, three by, uh, one by 2 into 3 is 3 by 2 and our answer is 3 by 2 so sometimes it may be possible that you have to convert both of them as power of some common number this is the similar example uh, 16 is larger number but it cannot be written as some power of 8 8 raised to 1 is 8 8 square is 64 so 16 will not come anywhere in the powers of 8 so we will convert both of them yes both can be represented as some power of 2 that you have to find out that which is the number which will be sufficient to represent given numbers so we can write down like this now uh, 4 is power of base so its reciprocal will go 1 by 4 3 will go as it is log 2 base 2 is equal to 1 and hence our answer is 3 by 4 ok next example find value of log 1 to the base 254 what should be converted here 
Yes, no need to convert anything. Remember or recall, I will say, uh, rule number one. Log one is always zero. It doesn't matter what is the base. Whenever number is one, answer is always zero. So it was a simple example. Uh, question number next eight. Find out the value of log one upon one twenty five base five. See, I am taking variety type of questions so that you don't feel any difficulty while solving such type of questions. So here we have to find out value. Uh, obviously, one twenty five can be written as some power of five. So first, let do that. One twenty five can be written as five raised to three. So what do we have? One upon five raised to three. Okay. Now from denominator. We are taking five raised to three upside, so it may be written as five raised to minus three. So we have the situation like this: log five raised to minus three base five. Okay, now minus three is power of number, so it will move front side as it is. Minus three into log five base five. Log five base five is equal to one, and our work is over. Answer is minus three. Let's see the last uh, question for this session. Find out the value of zero point log zero point zero one base zero point zero zero one. Carefully observe both are not equal. If they are equal, then there is nothing to do. Answer is one using the rule log a base a is equal to one. So we need to convert them as power of some common number. Remove the point. 0.01 can be written as 1 upon 100, which is 10 square. 0.001 can be written as 1 upon 1000, which is 10 cube. So we can write down like this: 1 upon 10 square is 10 raised to minus 2, and 1 upon 1000 is 10 raised to minus 3. Now, power of base reciprocal will go here. So 1 upon minus 3. And minus two is power of number, so it will go as it is. So one upon minus three into minus two into log ten base ten. This is log ten base ten is equal to one. So now we have to simplify this only. Here minus minus will get cancelled out, so our answer will be two by three. Okay, so in this video we have discussed about rules of logarithm and simple. questions related to logarithm regarding find out values of logarithm uh, we will see more in lecture number 2 in the next video so thank you very much